Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center. I want to give you an update on a big storm system that is on the way for Monday, early Monday morning. Potential for severe weather moves into the northwest Arkansas River Valley area. Let me get you caught up on the latest in this webcast extra. And it's a early Saturday morning right now. I want to let you know about the four W's. Here's what you need to know with the severe weather potential early Monday. First of all, what is the threat with this weather system? Well, we are expecting strong damaging winds, also hail up to about one and a half inches in diameter. But because of the strong low level winds, a few isolated tornadoes will be possible with uh, some embedded supercells within a squall line. So when does all this arrive? We are expecting thunderstorm development to take place Sunday night in Oklahoma. We're talking well after sundown Sunday night. Very early Monday morning, as you can see, from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. for the time frame into northwest Arkansas in the River Valley. That means while you're sleeping, an early Monday morning severe weather event. So make sure that you remain weather aware. Where will all this hit? We are looking for a widespread area in eastern Oklahoma to be affected. Then we'll have in northwest Arkansas a squall line also known as a QLCS, which is a quasi-linear convective system. Now, just to let you know, in northwest Arkansas, when you see a line and it's not quite solid, you see breaks in the line, that's what we call a QLCS, and that tends to bring tornadoes into northwest Arkansas. So that's something we are going to watch very closely. It does move east out of uh, northwest Arkansas into central Arkansas by late Monday morning. A very potent jet stream, which I'll show you, is why it will occur. Also, we have very strong low-level wind shear. Uh, with this strong system that comes in and a very fast moisture return that occurs Sunday night. So here's the latest severe weather risk from the Storm Prediction Center. This is the risk uh, as of uh, Saturday morning. This will be updated Saturday afternoon and then once again on Sunday uh, with uh, about three times being updated on Sunday. But we are looking for late Sunday in Oklahoma and then early Monday in northwest Arkansas. That risk shifts eastward into central and eastern Arkansas by Monday afternoon afternoon and eventually into Tennessee and Mississippi but this is looking like a multiple day severe weather event that could be significant the water vapor is showing a jet stream that is beginning to develop across the Pacific Northwest the low pressure system responsible for all the rain that we saw on Friday and into early Saturday morning shifting eastward that's going to be replaced by a large dip in the jet stream now here is the jet stream future track and you can see those red colors indicating a jet stream over uh, 150 miles an hour so we are looking at some really stout jet stream winds uh, notice uh, that when it gets into the pinks, we're talking about 200 mile an hour wind. So there is that huge dip in the jet stream, and you can see how that's beginning to take place. And as we head into time, this dip in the jet stream starts nosing in to the Oklahoma and Arkansas area by Monday morning. That's going to bring that potential for severe weather. Then this jet stream turns what we call negatively tilted, so all that energy is going to swing through. Here is the future track dew points. Now on Saturday afternoon we have a front coming through that's going to clear out the moisture but notice how it quickly returns late Sunday night and into early Monday morning. The highest moisture return will be across south central and central Arkansas but dew points in the upper 50s in Fayetteville will bring that potential for severe weather and then by Monday evening everything begins to shift to the east. So the future track points this perfectly. Look at the snow in the Rocky Mountains west of Denver. Here's Monday early morning thunderstorm development rapidly taking place and some of these will be severe as a very potent jet stream moves in. It's going to interact with moisture across northwest Arkansas. There you can see that line of thunderstorms 6 a.m. and this will be what we call a broken line of thunderstorms and so there will be the potential for some uh, brief tornadoes because of that strong low level wind shear by Monday late morning into the afternoon it shifts east and moves out of the area. So that is our severe weather risk. We're watching it closely. It's going to be early Monday morning. We'll have more updates. Of course Gina DeVecchio will be on uh, TV tonight on Saturday and Sunday. I'll be in the forecast center late Sunday night and into early Monday watching this severe weather potential. But keep it here with your weather authority and of course you can see our social media stream at the bottom. Uh, you know where, where you
where you can get all your social media information. NWA Weather Authority is our weather page. Dan Scoff, you can uh, friend me on Facebook. Also, follow me on Twitter under at WeatherDan, and I'll give you the latest throughout the weekend. Early Monday morning, severe weather is coming our way. Keep you here. We'll keep you advised.